welcome to my channel today we are cupping corn guys you love this recipe after today you try it if you haven't tasted something like this before so get your pot on your stove and add some oil allow your oil heat up guys the oil should heat up for about three to five minutes and then you add some of your corn guys this should be a poppable corn not just any type of corn but the type of corn that pops you know what i mean right okay then you turn it i am just doing that now as you can see i just turn it and i make sure every corn is saturated in oil or at least oil has touched the corn i just you know touch it up with my stick and then i do the next thing cover it this covering will allow the heat pop this corn the corn is popping right now and while it is popping i get to do other things you can also get to do other things while it is popping but make sure you put an eye on your corn guys if you don't put an eye on your corn it may get burnt and you wouldn't like it so our corn is still popping this corn is actually tasteless for me i feel it is tasteless it doesn't have any taste at the moment but the aim of this recipe vlog or this post is to show you how to make this lovely tasteless corn tasteful it's going to be very sweet guys you will need to try this recipe i assure you and i can bet on that the corn is fully popped now i empty the pot and then i get it back to the stove and add some butter this butter is just about quarter stick of butter next i add some condensed milk guys you know condensed milk is actually very sweet this condensed milk is going to add some taste to it now the drill is you can make this in two ways either you allow your condensed milk heat up for some time or you allow it fully heat up in such a way that it gets caramelized like it browns it turns brown that's what i mean by caramelized and the butter and the condensed milk is heating up now i have to stir it because i don't want it to get burnt i want it to retain a certain color and a certain texture so i keep stirring it and that is just what is going on now the butter is dissolving gradually and the condensed milk is also bubbly i guess it has some water in it so that's why it's also bubbling i keep stirring it and this is just what i have now with the butter still melting when this butter is fully melted and i can show you the texture i have this is what i have i keep stirring it again till i get the texture that will be good this is the texture i'm going for next i add some popcorn or i add some the corn the corn we popped right now i just add it into this mixture it's still bubbling here and i'm looking at it then i get the corn and pour into it so why i pour the corn into the pot with the mixture the condensed milk and butter mixture i have to quickly turn it that's just the drill with this nature and recipe of popcorn you have to turn it quickly with a little heat or no heat at all now the popcorn is ready this is what we have guys if you notice some are yellow some are brown and some are a bit white and that is just how i left it i wanted some of the brownish ones to be the caramelized ones and then the yellow ones to be you know a little bit of the condensed and butter look and then the white ones guys i assure you you need to try this recipe if you haven't tried it before it tastes so lovely and i know you will love it please like this video subscribe share comment guys please subscribe to my channel till next time please stay tuned for more food content bye